best class. There's very Brazman's gonna love this. Was it taking an astronomy next class? I don't know. You guys both should take astronomy though, it's fun class. Alex Ken already has, he's not supposed to be here, but he is. Well, ah. take it. KA and an X up here. The KA should be the sign that I always see. It's a sign on the side of the road that tells you how fast you're going. I'm going 37. It's getting stronger. I know it's up here because there's a school right here. Come on. Turn. Get the hell out of the way. There it is. Look at that. Through at 39, 38. We pass that. It now says it's behind us. And it's dissipating its effect. Almost off. Almost off. There we go. Back to logic mode now. Advanced logic, sorry. to that for obvious reasons. Uh, it's 2.43, we're home, classes are done, all went well. Um, I'm over here at, at Great Clips in Hudson, so this is a before. I'm getting a main in the back, so uh, we're gonna fix that. All right, and there's the after. Much, much better, easier maintenance. Oh, it's, it, I, feel, I feel like a new man. Well, not really. All right, so here's the deal. That's on for carbon buildup, car idle this morning for anybody asking. Uh, comes on sometimes to I'll reset that layer. We've got uh, 12 miles range, sub, uh, less, less than ideal, shall we say. So we're gonna go do that. In logic mode, it is still reporting K-bands everywhere. So, I don't know, maybe I have to go in and manually program something. Here comes the owner of that three. Looks like she's heading out. All right, I'm gonna go over to the bank now, and then I suppose we're gonna have to fill that up, which I prefer to do on Fridays. However, that isn't gonna happen. We'll not hit that Civic. Uh, there's that Camaro over there, the, the plastic one, uh, Hot Wheels edition, and a uh, F25 X3. There's that Nissan that I've seen. It's actually got quad exhaust on it. Weird looking thing. I, I saw it from a, a very far distance once from the front. I'm like, is that a Ferrari 348? But no, it's a Nissan 3000 GTX or something like that. Okay, 295 miles in tank. Um, that was 18.3 gallons in an 18.1 gallon tank. My range was eight when I pulled in there and had gone down from whatever it was before. So, I'm gonna head home now and, uh, I don't know, probably do the, the more work that I have to do today before we hang out tonight and watch a movie or something. Uh, I've got emails to do, I've got YouTubes to do, so we're going to get that taken care of. We had talked about doing a little romping back in the woods, you know, like we did in the spring. Um, it's pouring down rain, it's 54 degrees, so I don't quite think that's going to happen. There we go. After drive. I always comes out on Thursday, usually right before the weekend, of course, and I never have time to watch it before, usually Monday. But if things go well, I will be able to find a half an hour to sit down here and watch After Drive with Mike Spinelli. Definitely one of my favorite segments from uh, the Drive Network. This week it's about self-driving cars. So that should be pretty interesting. And it's still pouring down rain. It's dicked. Who's been covering self-driving cars for that popular website for quite a while? So good to have you guys. That's right. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, so we're talking about uh, self-driving cars because of something that you wrote for this was. The and uh, I mean, the thing about a Google car really is that it's a Toyota Prius anyway, with just a lot of the same sensors and technology. That's a all huge being more advanced, squirrel. Uh, that are already in cars that. or that are going to be in cars, whether it's radar, machine-based cameras, all that. So that's essentially it's one of those what huge squirrels out here. Come and look. Hi, Alex. Hi. Hi, Rosalind. Good luck. 
Look at that picture. Got. What is that a picture of? That's you. That's Remember me? when I tried to take a picture and you put the towel on your head? That's not a towel, that's, that's a blanket. That's your head. Oh, alright. Well, that's my... They're both the same thing. No, they're not. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice, very nice. Nice milkshake, steak and shake, shake and bake. Focus. Is it focused? I think it's trying to focus on your face. Focus. Oh yeah, I look really old. Yeah, you would. All right, guys. Just make another one. This is take two. We don't have enough cheese for two. We don't. This is take two. I think we could just split it. We're gonna it redo two and the two. grilled cheese because last time it was horrible. It was really bad. We could just do two and two. We can make two sandwiches. There's so uh, it's gonna be more better. We hope. There is take one. That actually looks pretty good. How's this coming? Not too bad, not too bad. We figured out. We've toned this down a little bit and we've buttered the pan. So, what are your expectations here? We'll see. We'll see? All right, we'll check back in in a minute. Okay, we just finished our sandwiches. How'd it go? Good. Much better than last time. Razvan's here. He's eating his sandwiches. More like Twinkie sandwich. It's it's all synthetic. I should put some like raw eggs in between that, and make it a health Let me, sandwich. Hang on a second. I want to read. I want to read the ingredients. Play-Doh has got to be number one. Enriched bleach for white wheat, wheat, oh, wheat flour, reduced, reduced iron. Okay, here, here we go. Two hundred riboflavin, folic two. acid, water, sugar. Calories. One of the biggest ingredients: corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. Wait. Partially hydrogenated vegetable and or I animal have never, sorting. Never eaten a Twinkie before. They're disgusting. Now's your chance. No. Now's I don't your want chance. No, look at it. Look, look at, at it. it. It's like a little Play Doh roll. Film, film this from here to here. Look at all that excess stuff. Mono and diglycerides, polysorbate 60. Uh, that's, that's nasty. Good morning. It's 327. 327. It's almost four o'clock. That sucks. Um, had a bunch of people over. We had Razvan, we had Kenan, we had Alex, we had Brad. <laughs> Brandon. I don't think I'm forgetting anybody now. I'm pretty tired. Um, yeah, they just left a little bit ago. I've been cleaning stuff up, so I'm gonna go upstairs, finish up today's work, and we're done. So happy weekend time. It's Friday. Um, didn't do. I guess I did a lot of a lot of inside stuff today. Um, got a fifty dollar gift card, gift certificate to uh, Dave Walter BMW in the mail today. So that's cool. A couple parts I need. Guess I'll have that paid for. Little parts. I was just I actually what took me the time the last hour. I had to jack the car up, pull the front wheel off, pull the driver's side fender liner out. There's a broken bracket in there that holds the horn, but it isn't the horn bracket. It holds something else too. So I need to figure out what that is that also holds the horn. I thought it was the DSC pre-charge pump, it's not. Um, that's why I had to open it up and take a look at it. I can't figure out what it is. So I'm gonna have to go to Google for that. It's got like power steering lines coming into it. So I'm not sure what that is. Or brake lines, there, there, there's, there's metal crimped lines. So I, I don't know. I'm gonna look that up a little bit unless I fall asleep. So yeah, I need to get up and get to bed. That's gonna be it for today. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday. It'll be a nice catch up cleanup day. Um, all right, we'll talk then. Good night.